I said that I'm a geophysicist and I work with snow avalanches and glaciers at the Icelandic Met Office and that I do uh, re my, my work concerns protection measures against snow avalanches and uh, various glaciological studies. Saying that Iceland is geologically young and it is characterized by volcanism and uh, the volcanism has created several mountain complexes that are partly covered with glaciers and uh, there is a unique phenomenon in the Icelandic geology that we have volcanism under the glaciers so volcanoes uh, are covered with ice and eruptions uh, sometimes penetrate the ice uh, that, which creates a different type of eruption than if the eruption had not been within the glacier. Well, this hill where we are uh, located now is uh, uh, it exposes bedrock in the middle of Reykjavik. Bedrock that is uh, carved by glaciers glaciers of the Ice Age over on the Reykjavik area uh, 10 to 15,000 years ago and before that and the, these rocks here show clear signs of the mo movement of the ice with striations marking the direction of the ice flow. This is very very common in Iceland and shows us the uh, extent and partly the ice flow direction of uh, glaciers that covered Iceland during the Ice Age. Yeah, the Icelandic glaciers have retreated uh, a lot in the last 15 to 20 years. In many places they have retreated by hundreds of meters or even up to almost a kilometer. Uh, the glaciers are thinning by approximately one meter on average over the whole area. They are currently covering about 11,000 square kilometers and the total uh, loss per year is about 10 cubic, kilometer of, cubic kilometers of ice, which is a, 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 an enormous amount. Uh, the, we expect the glaciers to continue thinning over the next decades and centuries due, due to the warming of the climate and uh, probably the glaciers will almost disappear within the next say 200 years. Really? We believe this is caused by uh, 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 the greenhouse warming which uh, is uh, caused by the release of CO2 and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere by, by, by humans. The Icelandic glaciers are not very important in the global context if you only consider the glaciers in Iceland. But the glaciers in Iceland are part of relatively small glaciers and ice caps worldwide. And small glaciers outside of Greenland and Antarctica are expected to contribute maybe half a, meters, half a meter to uh, global sea level during the next one or two hundred years. So uh, the total of small glaciers like the Icelandic glaciers are uh, significant in the context of sea level changes. Although Greenland and Antarctica will in the long run be more important. The aluminum industry in Iceland uh, releases significant amounts of CO2 and other pollutants pollutants, but uh, compared to aluminum production in other countries, the, the production of aluminum in Iceland leads to much less release of CO2 because the energy used for aluminum production here uh, comes from hydropower and geothermal power that uh, leads to much less emissions of CO2 than the production of the same amount of energy with uh, fossil fuels. Uh, the 
amount of aluminum production here or the, the continued build-up of aluminum factories is uh, highly debated in Iceland and it is not certain whether we will continue this build-up but uh, currently aluminum production uses uh, the majority, a large majority of, of the uh, production of electricity in Iceland so we, we, are, we are quite a significant producer of aluminum in, 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 uh, in our region of the world. Energy situation in Iceland is rather special com compared to the neighboring countries because we have uh, hydropower and geothermal resources that can be used for uh, pumping up hot water for uh, heating houses and, and uh, producing electricity. So we use uh, these resources to produce almost all our electricity and uh, a large majority of our buildings are heated with geothermal uh, energy. We live in a rather large country that is sparsely populated so these resources are uh, quite large compared to the uh, low, relatively small population. So we can produce much more electricity than is needed for ordinary household use and therefore we can produce electricity to power aluminum factories and other heavy industries. Uh, the geothermal er energy is uh, primarily uh, harvested in, in, in various types of geothermal areas where uh, volcanic activity has created hot crust that can be drilled into to, to extract hot water and steam for uh, heating of houses and production, production of electricity. Uh, we have also a relatively young, geologically young country that is not uh, so far mu uh, very much eroded, so our terrain is rugged with highlands and uh, rivers that fall in, in, in steep, relatively steep paths. So we have good conditions to create uh, hydrological uh, reservoirs and uh, hydrological power stations to produce uh, electricity. A very rapid ongoing change in the Arctic with uh, reduction in sea ice cover that will most likely permit uh, ship transportation by ships over the Arctic area within the next decade or two. And this can bring with it a, a, a fundamental change in the transportation routes on, on that sea uh, that can lead to uh, substantial traffic of ships and economical opportunities for Iceland. Really? Well, I don't think the passage of ships will have direct influence on, on, on Greenland or the glaciers per se. We have a lot of large ships that are already passing this area uh, for various reasons. So we will now have different ships and much more of them that will have to be organized carefully and there is of course a danger of, of, of shipwrecks and pollution that has to be considered but but we, have, we already have a lot of traffic of ships and, and uh, transportation at sea. Uh, this is more change. Be, the, the shipping companies will be able to choose a much shorter route rather than sailing somewhere else. But it is, uh, with, with regard to, to ships as such it is or traffic near Iceland it is it is not maybe a, a fundamental change that affects 
natural conditions or, 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 or pleasures or, or yeah. the environment other than the, the, the risk of, of accidents at sea will, will presumably go up. Really? There is already a very, very, very large and rapid change ongoing in this area. And there is pollution that is creating different surface characteristics and increased melting of ice and snow. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure whether the ships themselves as such will greatly change this ongoing uh, development. We, we, the, the sea ice in the Arctic is already wasting down. There is a big change in the uh, ocean temperature, in the air temperature, and this development is accelerating. Whether the sh I, I, I'm not, uh, it's not my field of expertise, but I'm not, I'm not sure that the ship traffic by itself is going to be a, a fundamental uh, influence in this context because we will, we will have a continued increase in the pollution and uh, transportation of uh, black carbon and other part particles into this area. We will have a continuation of the warming and uh, downwasting of the sea ice. And, uh, and, and I, don't, I don't see directly how the ship traffic will change this very much, but that doesn't mean that this ch this change, uh, the, the, the ongoing change in the Arctic is, is, is in my opinion, the most important development that will go on into the, over several more decades and, 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 and whether, whether the, the uh, transportation of goods by ships in the area will, will increase, I, I'm not sure, is, is a, a major issue in, in that context. Hello?